Collecting property exposure values for a large organization can be a challenge. Sending out emails, aggregating spreadsheets, sending more emails, fixing spreadsheets again and again. Origami can make this process much simpler. Let's see how. You start in the admin section, setting up your values collection. Here we've started to set up our 2011 property values collection. I'll click edit to show how this is initially set up. You give your collection a name and description, and you specify a value date that you're using. For more information on setting up exposure values in origami, please consult that video. Since this is an annual collection, we're collecting the 1-1 data. You first set up what the values intake page will look like. You'll likely have people who are not regular origami users entering this data, so you can customize the headers and footers of the pages to provide instructions. You can also specify the form orientation. For this, you want to think about whether you typically have one person entering multiple values for the same location, in which case you orient the form by location and then by value, or do you often have one person entering the same exposure value across many locations. Then you do it by value and then by location. For this example, we'll do by location then by value. We like to be friendly, so Origami lets you customize the welcome page, introducing people to the values collection process. And you can customize the thank you page at the end of the process. Finally, much of values collection is about emails. The initial request emails, the follow-up emails from, for when people ignore the initial emails, and the tactful, no, that wasn't quite right emails. You set these up so that they can be easily sent multiple times to multiple folks. Once you've set this up, you define values collection groups. You might only need one such group, but these are used when you will have different people reporting certain exposure values for the same location. In this example, we're collecting some core building contents and fire protection data, but some of our locations also house fine art, and we need to collect the estimated value. The guy that knows the fine art value is not the same guy that has the other building data. He's much snootier. So we've set up two collection groups. Within a collection group, you can again provide helpful instructions. You also specify which exposure values will be collected by this group. You can also collect core location data, such as sprinkler information, alarm type, flood zone, or whatever. So now we have the main email set up and the collection groups defined. Next, we assign people for each location and collection group. You can either assign regular origami users or other people outside of origami. For non-origami users, you simply enter the name and email. Here we've done the assignments for a few locations, but in origami you could be collecting values for hundreds or thousands of locations. Once this is set up, whoever is administering the values collection can see what's going on in the locations section. With the More button under Values, you will see a link for the values collection we just defined. Clicking the link shows you the current status across all locations. Origami color codes each location and collection group to make it easy to see the status. Right now, everything is pending, except for one area that we haven't assigned yet. Okay, time to start nagging people. I mean, time to kick off the process. We need to send out those initial emails. You click More and select Send Initial Emails. Here you see the email text we created at the beginning. We can start by sending this out to everyone. But one handy feature is, when you've added some more users in the middle of the process, it's easy to send just those new users the initial email. So your folks in the field would receive a simple email like this with a link to take them directly to their values intake page. There's no need for them to log in. They're taken directly to the welcome page that you defined. They click here to start and immediately can begin entering their values information. We set up Artsy Guy to track the fine art values in the Anchorage and the Atlanta locations. You'll notice that last year's value is indicated, making it easy to add the new value and any comments. The user can easily page through the collection process, in this case going from location to location. The user clicks through from page to page, from location to location, and when they're done, they get to the final page, which indicates whether I'm truly done, or, you know, I may have to come back and finish some stuff. The user simply clicks Submit, and the user is done. So now the admin user, back on this central page, sees the updated status. Perhaps we have a question about one of the entries. Maybe we know there's something new in Atlanta, but the numbers didn't change. I can click on the link, request changes, and when I save the changes, you see that the status changed to changes requested. 
we can send follow-up emails to anyone who hasn't completed their entry yet. And you'll note that while this email defaults to the email that we created in the, at the beginning, you can change it. So if this is the third or fourth time you've sent the follow-up email, you might want to strengthen the text. And finally, you'll notice at the bottom, Origami tracks every action in the entire values collection process. This is always handy when you want to demonstrate that, yes, you really did send that email to Fred. Collecting property exposure values can be a nightmare done the old-fashioned way. But with Origami Risk, you can simplify and streamline the process.